YouTube. At the moment I am doing a lot of dehydrating. I'm showing you that bag of onions because a friend pointed out to me that onions have gone up in price to about a dollar a pound. And sure enough, my old records show that they were not a dollar a pound, but now they are, which is rather pricey for onions. So I went to the farmer's market and I bought a 50 pound bag for $20. And behind it is a 50-pound bag of potatoes that I got for $15. So I will be dehydrating those. And the noise you hear, in fact, at the moment is my dehydrator, which is a little noisy. Sorry, I flipped off the camera, the button, the off button. Anyway, this is my current dehydrator. I have a new one on order. Um, let me just turn this off and show you. currently dehydrating onions and this is about one, two, three, four trays. There's a tray on the bottom but I don't fill it when I'm doing onions because they're kind of small. And this is what they turn into. This is the last tray I dehydrated and these are the onions. You can see they turn into these small bits that when you put them in stew or soup you'd never know that they were dehydrated. Now this is a half gallon mason jar, um, but you can see that it is not even half full, and that is probably four or five very large onions in there. And all the onions on these trays will reduce down to that. Here's some of the other things I've done. There's tomatoes. I have about three jars of that. Mushrooms. Potatoes. A lot of my potatoes turn dark, so I need to investigate why that is. But I've been having a lot of fun. I need to, those that are in mason jars, I'm going to vacuum seal with my food saver. So the ones that are not in mason jars, I'll probably have to transfer at some point. Then I have another box somewhere of zucchini and beans and stuff that I've done, green beans and wax beans. So anyway, that's what part of what's been keeping me busy. I have a new dehydrator coming. And I'm very excited about that. So I will, it's a commercial grade, and I will have two five shelfers. The reason I didn't go for a ten shelfer is I figure if I don't have that much to do, I, I can just turn one of them on. If I have more to do, I can use both. Over here I have another new purchase. This is a slicer made by Waring. I got this on eBay for $60. It was a refurbished one. And it really makes the process so much faster, slicing all those onions and vegetables. I can also slice my bread with it. Um, I can buy whole salamis or pepperonis and slice it. I can slice it way down thin. And then, just an FYI, I've been doing tons of onions. And I'm saving all the peels and the trimmings in this plastic freezer bag. And I'm just going to throw it in the freezer when I'm done. And as I go and do more batches of onions, I will add to it. When I do carrots, I'll add carrot tops and so on and so forth and store it in the freezer. Once it's full, I'll take it out and make a vegetable stock. So that's all for now, folks. Take good care.